Garrett, welcome to San Diego. How's it feel to be a Padre? Great. You know, from the West Coast, so it's like a dream come true coming on the coming on this side of the the world. Uh, you know, I've been on the East Coast the last seven years, so it's nice to be back home. Were you anticipating a move uh, was leading up to this? I mean, you hear your name, you hear things from your agent. You just you kind of just go along with it. I've heard my name for the last three or four years been in rumors, so you just kind of. It's kind of it's a business. You just go along with it. If you're you know if you're traded, you're not traded. It just you go by your business and you know you, your job is to play baseball. So you don't worry about that kind of stuff. What's your expectations about being here now in terms of your workload and playing time and how you can contribute? Yeah, you know I think uh, all sorts of things. You know, DH first base, face lefties, come off the bench. You know whatever they need. You know I think uh, this is my seventh year up here and you just kind of you kind of just attack each day you know whatever the team needs and you know i've been through been through the ringer in miami where i've gone through some bad years and um you know we've had some losing seasons so it's nice to come over here and you know this is a winning culture and you know hopefully get back to the playoffs this year how different is that for you to all of a sudden be thrust into a playoff opportunity uh you know miami we were in the playoff hunt too so this year um you know you just if you worry about that kind of stuff it's just you know it becomes comes in and you know, ingrained in your brain, you just want to go out there and play baseball. It's all you can do. Uh, you know, help the team any way you can. You know, they got a lot of a lot of all stars on this team. They got a lot of good players, and you know, we played them earlier this year in Miami. And you know, it's just you see the talent there is in this clubhouse, and you know, you just want to help any way you can. You know, to get these guys to, you know, the playoffs. Yeah, you know, I think everything. You know, hitting. You know. That's that's what I built my career on so far. Uh, you know, first base DH. If you're not hitting, you're probably not in the big leagues. So, um, you know, I think I take pride in pride in just being the best professional at bat I can be um, each day, and you know, take every at bat like it's your last because you know this game is tough and you can't let any at bat slide. So I think I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty focused on each you know each at bat trying to be the best best I can be. Um, you know, any way you can playing first DH whatever they need play outfield. You know, I haven't played this year or last year, but. I played a lot there, and you know the past four years before that. So anyway, anyway, I can get in the lineup and you know contribute is all I'm here to you know ask them for. You mentioned the talent on this team. What's what's jumped out at you when you have when you have faced the Padres? <laughs> I mean, you look around. You know, I mean Machado, Soto, Bogarts. There's just there's just so much talent. Um, you know, facing their starters the last you know four or five years. You know, Joe and Darvish and you know Snell and just those guys. You just you know, they're all all stars. You know, they're all they're all really good players, and you know they their resumes speak for themselves. Um, you know, I think they want to be as good you know as possible, and maybe this year kind of start off a little bit slower than probably what they envisioned, and you know what you know media and fans envisioned. So, you know, you just you just see the town around this. This you know, baseball's a baseball's a up and down sport. So you know, you go through a hot streak and you slide right into the playoffs. So. Is this there's so much talent to, that shouldn't be wasted that you know it should be in the playoffs this year? You're, you're a Torrance guy, right? How happy is the uh, the family, and the friends that you're right in the backyard? And who was your team growing up? Ah, uh, man, I grew up an Angels fan. You know, my whole family. I'm the baby of seven, so I got four older brothers, two older sisters, and everyone grew up a Dodgers fan. I like to be the outcast of the family. Uh, you know, my dad and brothers all went to USC. I was the only one that wanted to go to UCLA. Uh, UCLA fan growing up, everything that was against my family, I'd love to do. So, um, you know, it's my fam's coming down this weekend. They'll be here. My brothers like to travel as much as they can to see, you know, and to see me and you know have their have their kids experience, you know, what what their uncle does for a living. So, you know, they like to travel just as much as you know the next person. Uh, my parents are a little bit older now, so it's nice to be home. Um, you know, and they'll come to games in LA, and you know they'll make it down wherever they can so you know there's a lot of grandbabies I've been on the East Coast for for seven years so the parents haven't seen the grandbaby uh, as much as they'd like to so you know just to get home <clears throat> be on this side of the country again um, you know just to have just to have my family close you know like an hour and 15 maybe maybe away so you know they're they're in route right now is at three o'clock they probably should be here in the next hour two hours so you know they're excited um, they're probably Probably the most excited of any <laughs> anyone could ever be. Um, they've always wanted me to come home. Uh, you know, they they love Miami. They loved it. They loved traveling. They hated the flights there every day. So, um, you know, just to be home is, is great. And you know, it's all I can ask for to come into a to a great team, great organization. You know, hopefully make the playoffs. I think this Padres team has sold out like 43 games here at Petco Park. For you, what's going to be like putting on those City Connects and jumping right into Padres Dodgers? Yeah, you know, you. Uh, 
you want to go into the into the fire, you're going right right into it. You know, Padres, Dodgers. You know, there's a lot of history there. Both you know, really good organizations. A lot of you know, a lot of uh, a lot of sellouts here. I've heard, and uh, Miami was a little bit different. Um, you know, the past five or six years. You know, this past year where we've been doing a lot better. The fans have been a lot better out there. So, you know, just to come in here and experience this and just kind of take it in. Uh, you know, day by day and try not to you know overdo. Do, do too much on a new team, a new org. You're just trying to go out there and play baseball. Any part of you that saw where you were on the standings in on Monday, and then now you're back yeah. a few games. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think. I mean, look, baseball. You can go on. A, you can go on a 10, 15 game win streak. Uh, you know, teams. You know, there's teams ahead of us right now that are going to go through tough schedules. I know with the Marlins and that kind of stuff, they had a really tough schedule in in August. So it, baseball is a you catch you catch a hot hot streak and anything's possible. And I think there's 50 something games left. So, you know, being three, four, five games out, it's not that big of a big of a deal in my eyes. Uh, been around long enough to know that you know baseball can flip on a whim. When your parents get here, will they be wearing Padres or Dodgers? <laughs> They'll definitely be wearing Padres. Um, you know, even though they grew up Dodgers fans, and you know, my whole family were Dodgers fans. I think whatever I'm doing. Um, is what their what their baby son's doing is what they'll root for.